In this tutorial, we will see how to calculate quantity discounts with variable holding cost. This tutorial builds extensively off of the fixed holding cost tutorial, so it is critical that you view that tutorial before viewing this one. There are only two differences when working with variable holding cost. The first is that the holding cost has to be calculated separately for each price category. This is because it is a function of the purchase price. The second is related to the first. Since holding costs vary depending on price, the economic order quantity also varies based on price, so we have to compute a new Q value for each price category. Those are the differences. Everything else remains the same. A manufacturer uses about 5,000 components a year. Order costs are $150 and holding costs are 1.4% of the purchase price per component per year. The vendor charges $10 for 1 to 499, $9.75 for 500 to 3,499, $9.50 for 3500 to 5999 and $9.25 for 6000 or more. Determine the optimal order quantity and the total cost for that order quantity. The first step is to calculate the holding cost for each price category. $10 times 1.4% equals 14 cents. $9.75 times 1.4% equals 13.7 cents. $9.50 times 1.4% equals 13.3 cents. $9.50 times 1.4% equals 13 cents. Using the unique holding cost for each price category, we next compute an EOQ for each price category. The results are shown on the slide. The details of the calculations were covered in the basic EOQ tutorial and reviewed in the fixed holding cost tutorial. While unlikely, it is technically possible for two categories to have a feasible Q value. It is also possible, but unlikely, that none of the price categories would have a feasible Q value. Next, we adjust each Q value to be feasible, exactly as we did in the fixed holding cost tutorial. Those adjusted values are shown on the slide. As before, while we will not do so, you can ignore any price categories that are more expensive than the first feasible Q value. Finally, we calculate the total cost for each price category using its associated holding cost and adjusted EOQ value. Those calculations were covered in detail in the total cost tutorial and are not covered here. The resulting total costs are shown on the slide. Finally, we select the smallest total cost. In this example, that is for the 6,000 or more price category. So the company would order 6,000 each time it needed to place an order. While not needed for this example, total stocking costs for each category are shown on the slide. Note that the total stocking costs for price category 3,500 to 5,999 goes down. This does not always happen, but when it does, it is because the holding costs are going down because of the lower price. Since this does not always happen, you cannot use total stocking cost to make your decision. You can see that here since total stocking cost for the price category 6,000 or more goes up. A manufacturer uses about 1.25 million components a year. Order costs are $500 and holding costs are 14% of the cost of the component per year. The price categories are shown on the slide. Determining optimal order quantity and the total cost for that order quantity. Since you've seen an example already, let me suggest that you pause the video and try to work this problem on your own. Once you're done, you can use the video to check your work and spot any mistakes you might have made. The first step is to calculate the holding cost for each price category. Those results are shown on the slide. The next step is to calculate the EOQ for each price category. Those results are shown on the slide. The Q value for the 10,000 to 99,999 category is the only one that is feasible. How are you doing so far? Now, we adjust all of the Q values to be feasible. Those adjustments are shown on the slide. Did you get them right? Next, we use the feasible Q values and individual holding costs to compute the total cost for each price category. Those results are shown on the slide. How'd you do? Using those total cost values, we select the lowest one, which is for the 100,000 to 999,999 price category. So, every time they need to place an order, they should order 100,000. While not required, the slide shows the total stocking cost. As you can see, selecting based on these values would cause you to make the wrong decision. If you found that this video helped you with your operations management problem, please consider liking the video and even subscribing to the channel.